right now, Fal. I think you should be called the Parfessor because all this does, young man does is rack up par. Parfessor. I love that, actually. You are? Oh, he's the Parfessor. He's the Parfessor. He's the parfessor. Let's go. And if you're looking for collaborations, try and reach out. Rest assured, we're done reaching out. We're going to rely on the folks there in Berlin. And hopefully in the near future, we'll be going there and doing an update video based on the comments it's down below. Back. Yeah, it's we might back. come back. back. We've been there. We never played golf. And when we do, we will celebrate oh together oh the unbelievable oh golf opportunities. Quickly moving us into the top six courses we found. Looking here at number six with the name of each one of the course in the bottom left-hand corner to make pronouncing them a little bit easier for the reader. A look at a 4.6 out of five on Google with almost 500 golf reviews. To choose from, this is definitely a top destination for golf in the area. And we are taking a look at a course that we're listed as the Pines course here. And it stretches a long 6,366 meters from those back tees. You also got the Lynx course that you can see. It's more of a Lynx. It stretches. And it's a slope of 129 with a rating of 679.3. The course itself was built in 1993, and it's quickly going to move us now into the top five. Here at number five, let's zoom on in to our fifth course on this list. And a wonderful name, and it had multiple names, but it's a 4.5 with 166 golf reviews to choose from. This is a top 100 golf course by major golf outlets and dates back to 1895. It's considered one of the oldest and most prestigious golf clubs in Central Europe. Now, if you play this course, it does have some great golf ratings, and because of its rich history, we decided here to put it at number five, and we're going to get things wrong on this list, but more importantly, we're going to move on and just consistently bring you some more golf videos. And if you like things like that, then this might be the channel for you. If you don't, well, write down in the comments section what's bugging you, and we might try to help you. Until then, let's take a look here at our next course. Germany's got some great ones, so let's zoom on in to a 4.3 out of 5 with 355 golf reviews to choose from. This is definitely a top destination for anyone. you got a three-hole course, and then you got the Robert Baker Field Course which we recommend playing the full course if you get out there it's stretching 6,530 meters. It has a slope of 140 and a rating of 75.3. It's hard, it's challenging. It was built in the late 90s, in 1997. If you played this course, you know that it's pretty reasonable with the Golf School Academy and other arrangements like a driving range that you can see right off the bat. This is definitely a top destination, making it on the list of top golf courses in Germany year in, year out by Golf Magazine, Golf Digest, and Golf Now. If you played this course, you can see the clubhouse really sets the tone for an historical landmark, nonetheless, built in the 90s. <laughs> That's going to do it for our fourth course as we just consistently find these courses that are around this area. Now quickly moving us into number three on this list. course that has a 4.5 out of 225 golf reviews to choose from. This is an 18-hole championship course for major people getting out there and playing and stretching 5,825 meters. It has a slope of 129, but the rating of this course is a 71.3, which is a little bit lower than the par of 72. The course has some fun history, being built in 1969, although it did have some updates in the 2000. Jumping out of this is 2001, 2004, and 2011 by golf names I can't pronounce. And it's going to zoom us now into the top two courses for this wonderful area of Berlin. If you played this, you know this is a wonderful golf destination for anyone going out there. Here we are at number two. And a course that does set the tone for questionable golf here at a 4.4 with 117 golf reviews to choose from. We wanted to put something that gets people frustrated if they're keeping along and watching because this course maybe doesn't belong at number two, but Make sure you're watching along. It's only a nine-hole golf course. That's 1,777 yards because of its cheap rate. We put it here at number two. It's semi-private. It's a par 31, and it has a slope of 116 with a rating of 30. It's built in 1991, so that's fun, exciting, and it does close the list off. And it brings us closer to our number one golf course 
for this area of great golf. If you made it this far, we highly recommend you subscribe down below for fun, affordable golf in your area. We're targeting all those good courses, and we're trying to see which ones are the best ones to play. And here at number th one, we have a 4.3 with 251 golf reviews to choose from. We had to put it here at number one because I think it deserved it. It has major golf outlets like Golf Now and Golf Magazine. It's a top 100 golf course year in and year out in Germany alone. You have the South Course, which, which is recommended to play, although it is private. It did sneak by us. And it, again, we do rely on the comment section to get things right and wrong. This is a slope of 137 and a rating of 74.4. It was a long 6,455 meters. Being built in 1997, it's a Robert Trent Jones Jr. design course, and it does close the list out for the top courses in Berlin. If you made it this far, keep a lookout for more videos to come. This is the Parfester, an independent golf channel focused on fun, affordable golf in your area. If you're not playing, at least go play some golf today. That's going to do it for our video. Keep a lookout for more.